And tonight here on The Rant, several Kentucky Christian schools, including one from Louisville, joining a lawsuit against Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear. The lawsuit is over the governor's new order temporarily banning in-person classes, plus limiting the numbers of people at social gatherings to eight. You're talking about that, and one viewer saying the order is full of contradictions. Yes, it just doesn't make sense that the kids can't go to school, but they can go to Walmart and Kroger's and shopping and other things. Why can't they go to school where there's limited amount of people in there? I think the restaurants have done a really good job and have spent thousands and thousands of dollars to stay open and to follow the guidelines. We don't want to shut our economy down again. People need a job. We ought to go back to a curfew, uh, 9 o'clock during the week and on weekends till 10, and I bet we get more reaction with that than the poor restaurant people getting hit every time. More rants coming in. Jim in the Highlands on the closing of Shenanigans, the mainstay popular neighborhood Irish grill on Norris Place right near Bellarmine. I don't see how shutting down bars and restaurants is going to stop the virus. Makes no sense to me. Louisville's going to look like a ghost town when this is over. Brenda in Shelbyville, what's the difference between Governor Bashir's restrictions to contain the virus and proposed proof of vaccine requirement by airlines to fly or groceries putting limits on purchases? Joe in Louisville, it looks to me like Governor Bashir is doing his best to try to save lives, whereas the Republicans in the Kentucky Senate and House, plus some of these Christian schools, are putting Kentucky lives in very serious danger of contacting COVID. How easily they forget the sacrifices made by so many Americans during World War II to win the war. Louise from Pee Wee Valley. Listen to the science, follow the rules to keep you safe, care about each other, be a positive role model for your children and others. Instead of being destructive, be productive. Well, don't forget, you can comment and rant about any of the top stories on your mind here tonight. Here's how you can reach the rant line. We're always open. Post a message on my Facebook page. You can use Twitter at WHAS11Doug. Keep your emails coming to the rant at WHAS11.com. You can talk about the uh, restaurant's tents that they're putting outside. Do you think that uh, keeps you any safer than dining inside? And call the toll-free rant line at 855-749-1101.